when I read both the Old and the New Testament, God repeatedly uses deeply flawed, irascible, sometimes dysfunctional personalities to achieve his ends for his own reasons. I don't claim to understand why, you know. You know um, that Trump thinks that the New Testament is an edited version of the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> Does it bother you that this president lies consistently, that he's morally compromised, that he's untrustworthy, that he's unethical? Is that problematic for people in the Christian community? Well, first of all, I, I don't agree with that characterization of him. Anybody who holds this office, their critics are going to say they're a liar. But, but this isn't just critics. This is media that cover facts and say, you know, he's lied 13,000 times since he's been president. You mean the Washington Post? No, you consider no, that no, to be a, no. a fair and unbiased media outlet? Let me, let me say this. Let me answer your question this way. He hasn't lied to us. When he told us during the campaign, here's a list of 21 people who are outstanding, qualified, conservative jurists. And if you elect me president, I promise to pick one of these 21. Right. And he not only kept that promise, he kept it a second time with Brett Kavanaugh. He's kept it now with 160 other federal judges. He kept his promise on life. He kept his promise on religious freedom. I'm giving you an honest answer. He kept his word to me. You've described the latest impeachment process as less here than the Russian hoax. Yeah. Why? I don't think there was ever anything to the Russian hoax. So this is less than zero. Why not run this all through the State Department? Why hire a private attorney? Why have Mick Mulvaney, the chief of staff, and all the president's men now suddenly getting tied up into kind of a rogue operation that, that was doing an end run around the State Department? I don't know everything that was going on. Bill Barr and the Justice Department and the State Department were involved, but they were involved in parallel anti-corruption investigations that had nothing to do with what Rudy was looking into. What Rudy was looking into was whether or not there were things that went on in Ukraine that affected his client, the President of the United States. I don't think there's anything worthy of impeachment. Don't you think we should just find out? This is a kangaroo court. They're just setting it up to get the result that they want. You could argue the president served it up for him on a silver platter. If that were the case, Mark, why are these interviews being conducted in secret? Ralph, when they were doing it in public, the Republicans accused him of, of making it a, you know, a stage play. Well, but at least What's the, the American people from? could see the questions and the answers. Do it out in the open in front of the cameras and let the American people hear it for themselves. And I will just tell you, in 1998, when the Republicans went right off the cliff and impeached Bill Clinton. It wasn't Bill Clinton who lost his job, it was Newt Gingrich. And there's a darn good chance the same thing's gonna happen to them.